The challenge with setting resolutions is that they aren't just a date on a calendar or a ceremony associated with the beginning of January. The root word for resolution is resolute, which means determined or set in purpose in your mind. Are you determined? Are you set in your mind to achieve your purpose? Perhaps instead of thinking in terms of resolutions, we should initiate an objective investigation into our mindset. It's December the 25th and you've neglected to send out your holiday cards. Now you have nearly a full year to prepare for next year. There is no benefit in crying over small failures. This lesson shows up more times than I care to experience, but maybe this becomes the first mind shift of the new year. Letting go of failure and carrying on with the lesson that it purchased is powerful and ensures that what was lost was in fact merely exchanged for the greater. The discomfort associated with the task mostly comes from your resistance to it. If you give yourself 100% to the task, no part of you remains to offer resistance and a cadence of achievement is going to set in. Peace of mind and success follow from this point. If you're planning for 50 transactions in this coming year, how many prospects do you need to add to your database? How many connections and reconnections do you need to perform? Sales professionals tell me that this is heavy lifting, and maybe it is. The resistance is actually the time lapse that occurs from the initial conversation to the reconnecting, to paperwork, and then to payday. As always, the pain is in the deferred gratification. If you took the time to determine the number of interactions it took you to finalize one transaction from start to finish, and how many prospects you interacted with over that same time, you could calculate the value of each of your conversations. If you knew each person that you spoke with or met with face-to-face -face was worth, say, $3,000, over the course of your relationship with that person, would you make more phone calls? Would you set more appointments? Of course you would. How do we maintain single-minded focus on the task at hand without the distraction of deferred gratification weighing us down? The great paradox of goal setting is that most of us sales and marketing types can visualize the benefit at the end with such clarity that the plethora of action items to get there never actually materializes. And if you don't take the individual steps required, then success is never going to come. Projecting a vision of your anticipated success is not the same as doing what is required to succeed. We are wired in this way for one reason and one reason only. It's the avoidance of the pain of rejection. Let go of the duality of your mind and allow the resistance to fade. Merely make room for the action to arise out of a logical necessity. And when it does, just go with it. Please hit that subscribe button and don't forget, visit our website and schedule your free 30-minute evaluation.